by basis. So here we go. We've got F major. In F major, we have one flat. It's B flat. Um, most of the scale is going to be in half position, going all the way across in half position. Once we get to that B flat with our fourth finger on G string, we're going to shift up to third position. So we've got C and D. Then we're going to shift up to fourth position so that we've got E and then F. So remember, that's just a half step between E and F. Uh, you can use your first finger and second finger or second and fourth finger, depending on which is more comfortable for you. I prefer using my second and fourth because um, sometimes my hand will hit the bass and it, um, it makes it just a slightly smaller shift and it's more comfortable for me. Um, every bass is different and as is every person's hands. Um, then when we get to our F major arpeggio, um, again, target practice. So we're going to be, um, I like playing this in first position. So we've got F, A, C, um, F, A, and then we shift up to first finger for C and then up again for F natural. An alternate fingering would be if we were to be playing the same beginning. But after we play the first octave, shift up to your first finger on A. And then up another half step to C on your fourth finger. And then right across onto the G string for F natural. So that last octave is... And I'll play through that once more once you get to the arpeggios. So for our F major scale, let's turn our metronomes on to 60. Mostly in half position. Um, doing the first fingering, so with um, that big shift between C and F. Here's the alternate fingering where after we play the first octave, we shift up to our first finger on A and then everything's kind of in this little box. Mm -hmm. 